everyone, I'm Dr. Teresa Bullard, and this is a video blog series on what is going on in our world right now and how do we make the most of this time with the COVID-19 situation. Now, at this time on the planet, because of how this virus is spreading around, everybody's talking about our immunity, right? Physical immunity, how do we boost our immune system? And um, that physical immunity, of course, it's important because we wanna stay healthy and we want to be able to you know not get affected by any virus it doesn't matter what virus it is anytime there's a virus going around you know whether it's flu and cold season or it's you know a pandemic like this we want to be able to stay strong and healthy and immune to it so yes there's physical immunity but i have to tell you that it is based upon and it rests upon spiritual immunity what is spiritual immunity? So spiritual immunity is how can we maintain our center? How can we maintain a state of balance and peace and coherence and positivity from our inner being? And why I say your physical immunity is based upon your spiritual immunity is because when we're in a state of stress, it creates a cascade of things happening biologically within us, right? So when, if we're in stress, if we're in fear, if we're in panic, which is, has been happening because the media is driving it right now. So how do we disengage from that? How do we come to a greater state of, of peace and coherence? Because only when we're in peace and coherence can our immune system be strong. And that again is spiritual immunity. So let me just tell you first the science behind what happens, you know, the biological side, and then we'll get into the spiritual immunity. So when we're in stress and fear, our amygdala is going, our brainstem is going, our, we're having this overproduction of cortisol happening. And then that cortisol, those stress hormones, then actually affect your stomach. They affect the stomach acid production. And then how, if you're having you know, too much stomach acid production or not enough stomach acid production, that affects your digestive system. The whole system gets affected. And science is now showing how much more uh, direction and information is being passed from the gut to the brain versus the other way around. So if we are not producing the right amount of um, stomach acid and we're not digesting things the right way, then we're also gonna be shifting our serotonin production because almost 90% of your serotonin is actually developed or produced within the gut or within the stomach. And that serotonin is the, one of the molecules that then gets sent to the brain to help us feel good. It puts us in a good mood. And so if we're not getting enough of it or it's being you know, sent off kilter because of the cortisol and the stress, then it affects our mood and we get lethargic, we get depressed, we get um, agitated. And so that then creates a negative system uh, it, it has a negative further impact on our immune system because when we're feeling depressed, science has also shown that our immune system gets depressed. So it's super, super important that we have a good inner environment emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And then that will affect us physically to help give our body what it needs to have a, a good, strong immune system. And then of course, yes, you know, do the herbs like the, the medicinal mushrooms that are really adaptogenic and, and the herbs and vitamin C and vitamin D and those things, the supplements, you know, give your body what it needs and it will take care of itself. It will develop that physical immunity. But as I said before, it rests upon your spiritual immunity. So how do we, how do we get to that state of spiritual immunity? Well, as I kind of hinted already, it depends on your thoughts and where your mind and your emotions go with uh, the stimulus you're being confronted with. So if you're hooked into the media and or uh, various TV shows, you know, it, a lot of them drive us based on drama and stress and fear and, and that, but then really it's not just those things, it's an emotional roller coaster that they drive us by. So they're constantly triggering our limbic brain system to, to get us to do what they want, to get us hooked in to that drama. So in order to disengage from um, all of that, to, to start achieving spiritual immunity, is we need to come to a place of um, 
quieting our emotions, which meditation is a huge, important tool for that. It just settles everything down. Just even if it's just as simple as focusing on your breath and just taking a few minutes, just do focus breathing and let go of anything else, any other distraction around you, just bring yourself back to your center. But I would say also it has to do with your thoughts, right? Because our thoughts affect things. Our thoughts create a cascade of activity within our body. Now, we want to shift from negative thinking to positive thinking, so that's really important. Uh, if you're focused on what you fear, if you're focused on the drama, if you're hooked into it, then it's going to constantly be driving other thoughts within your mind and it's going to kind of run a hamster wheel of negativity. But if you start to shift your thoughts into what can I be grateful for? That's a really quick and easy way to shift from negative to positive. What am I grateful for? What, what even just the smallest things, just find and look for the things that you can be grateful for. Um, what is going right, right? Acknowledging those things that are going well. And again, even just acknowledging the small things, you know, when we acknowledge the small and the subtle things, it's like you're saying yes to that. You're saying this counts too. Even if it's small, you know, the part of us can say, oh, it's just, it's, it's insignificant, but I'm going to encourage you to say yes to it and to acknowledge it as significant because when we do, we're opening up the door for more positive things to come in because what you focus on expands. So really get into controlling your thoughts and your mind. You know, in this time right now, there are so many people in fear and panic that we cannot be contributing to that. Like the world really doesn't need that right now. What, what the collective consciousness of humanity needs right now is more balance, more peace, more hope, more gratitude, more sense of um, acceptance rather than resistance and to focus on the good right? To focus on the good rather than focusing on the negative. So if you want to be part of the solution, then do this, right? Focus on the good, bring peace to your inner state of emotions, bring quietness to your mind. Again, meditation is a huge tool for quieting the mind. But the other big thing that I'm going to say, you know, that really gets us into spiritual immunity on a, on a longer range basis, because this is not about just short term gains. This is about lifestyle. This is about making it a part of your life so that you always have that spiritual immunity. And that rests upon know thyself, knowing who you are, not as this human, right? Not defining who am I based on my name, my job, you know, my roles within family and friends and so forth. Uh, no, you are who you were before this life. And there is a, there is a spirit, there's an energy, there's an intelligence, a, a eternal consciousness that is you, that is the essence of you. And when you can come to know thyself as that being, as that eternal being, then you really don't need to be so swayed by all these outer things, all these triggers and, and circumstances outside of us, they have no sway and no power over you when you know who you are from the inside out. Or I should say, maybe we could say also from the higher planes of vibration, from those higher states of consciousness, knowing who you are as an eternal being and recognizing that this physical experience is just the blink of an eye compared to your eternal being. And we live in eternity. We don't live in this timeline of earth. This is just, this is a hologram. This is like a virtual reality experience that we're having, but our true self is way beyond this hologram and is living in this eternal now. And all of these little experiences that we're having in this physical life is just the blink of an eye. You know, it's just this like, okay, let's go into the little virtual reality game right now and, and have some experience of, what it's like to be different from being in this eternal being, but it's not, not to say it's not real, not to say it's not important. We're learning from this experience, right? We are learning from this and we have things to do here and accomplish here for sure. We are here for a reason, but don't get your identity so wrapped up with this, with this physical body, because this is not who you are. Think of this physical body as like, it's a vehicle. I'm here, I'm wandering around the earth and I'm exploring, you know, it's like you have a rental vehicle. One of my teachers, uh, founder Gunny Gunnison of the Modern Mystery School, he often says, you know, this body is like our rental vehicle. 
and we pick it up so that we can explore around that that world uh, that we want to tour and experience and then at some point that rental vehicle has an expiration date and we got to turn it back in but who we are our true self goes on to the next adventure and we are on an eternal adventure we have so much more to experience and explore beyond this earth so when you come to know yourself from this perspective from this eternal being then all of this other stuff that's happening outside of us it, it loses its power over you because you are this immense divine infinite potential and there's really nothing that can limit you when you recognize and become aware of it's all about awareness where are you putting your awareness where are you putting your attention because where your attention goes that's where you're giving your energy right so if you're putting your attention on all these outer things you're giving your energy to it but if you're putting your attention on your eternal being that's what you're giving your energy to and that's opening up the door for more of that power to flow through you so know thyself and as you come to know thyself for that eternal being and let go of all the masks of the personality and the ego and the fear driven parts of us then we can uh, really achieve that spiritual immunity and this is really what the mystery school tradition is all about so if you are really interested in, in stepping more fully onto that path, or maybe you're already on that path, but you want to speed up your progress, you want to accelerate so that you can get to that greater state of, of know thyself and of self-mastery, then I really encourage you to check out the Modern Mystery School, find a guide or a practitioner in your area, start with getting a life activation, and then from there, step onto the path of initiation. Do the Empower Thyself training. And then, you know, depending on who you are and what you feel called to, there are many more steps and opportunities for, for training and empowerment beyond that. And there's also ways to serve and help other people to remember their divinity and awaken their potential. So join me for more of tips and tools and training videos and so forth by subscribing to my newsletter at TeresaBullard.com and uh, you'll get access to all kinds of great stuff and I look forward to seeing you again.